Welcome to today's episode, where we'll be exploring one of the most fascinating and controversial ideas in theoretical physics. We'll be diving into Stephen Hawking's groundbreaking No Boundary proposal and the intense debates it has sparked within the scientific community. This proposal challenges the traditional concept of time and the Big Bang Theory, offering a radical new perspective on the origins of our universe. So, let's get started. Let's turn back the clock to 1983. A groundbreaking idea was presented by two pioneering physicists, Stephen Hawking and James Hartle. They proposed an idea that fundamentally challenged our understanding of the universe, an idea known as the No Boundary Proposal. Imagine a universe not with a defined beginning or end, but rather one that smoothly expands from a single point of zero size. This is the shuttlecock universe that Hawking and Hartle envisaged. But their proposal didn't stop there. It also redefined our understanding of time. Traditionally, we perceive time as a linear progression, a constant ticking clock from past to present to future. But Hawking and Hartle suggested otherwise, correlating time with the size of the universe and other properties, most notably entropy. The influence of this radical proposal has reverberated through the decades, inspiring physicists and shaping the field of quantum cosmology. At the heart of the no-boundary proposal lies the concept of the wave function of the universe. This term might seem abstract, but it's simply a mathematical description of the possible states our universe might find itself in. This approach was influenced by the work of another legendary physicist, Richard Feynman. In this framework, the entire universe is taken into account, considering all possible histories and states. Here's where it gets even more interesting. Hawking and Hartle also incorporated the concept of cosmic inflation into their wave function. Cosmic inflation, for those unfamiliar with the term, refers to the rapid expansion of the universe following the Big Bang, powered by a specific energy field. This holistic approach, combining Feynman's influence with the theories of cosmic inflation, has profound implications for our understanding of how the universe originated and how it may evolve. Now, let's delve deeper into what the No Boundary proposal tells us about the possible expansion histories of the universe. According to Hawking and Hartley, two dominant expansion histories are possible. The first is a universe much like the one we inhabit, where the universe is smooth and the distribution of energy is largely uniform. The second possible history presents a universe that's far from what we observe, characterized by extreme variations in energy and enormous differences in density. These two scenarios are influenced by the concept of quantum fluctuations, minute variations that occur due to quantum mechanics, and entropy, a measure of disorder within the system. The choice of which history to consider leads to a divergence in the path of integration, a mathematical approach used in quantum physics. This choice, known as the contour of integration, has led to different interpretations and further exploration within the scientific community. As with any revolutionary idea, the no-boundary proposal didn't go unchallenged. In 2017, physicists Neil Turok, Job Feldbrug, and Jean-Luc Lehners presented a counter-argument. They claimed that when new mathematical techniques were applied, the Hartle-Hawking model was untenable. One of their key criticisms revolved around a variable known as lapse, which describes the evolution of the universe over time. They argued that only real values for this variable make physical sense, a point of contention that has sparked a fair share of debate. In response, defenders of the original no-boundary idea, including Hartle himself, along with others like Thomas Hertog and Jonathan Halliwell, have put forth robust defenses, maintaining the validity of the no-boundary proposal. This disagreement showcases the lively, dynamic nature of scientific discourse and the ongoing quest to understand our universe's origins and nature. Hawking and Hartle's shuttlecock universe begins as pure space, not dynamical space-time as we traditionally think of it. This idea stems from the no-boundary proposal, where the universe doesn't start with a bang but silently and smoothly from a single point. This point of origin in their model is pure space. However, calculating all possible expansion histories from this point is incredibly complex, pushing our mathematical tools to their limits. To overcome this, scientists use simplified models, or toy universes, featuring a single energy field. Despite these simplifications, there's hope. These toy universes, with further refinement and understanding, might yield a high probability for a universe much like ours. 
In the later years of his life, Hawking began to explore a different approach to understanding the wave function of the universe. This approach was based on the concept of holography, which in the realm of physics, suggests that all the information in the universe can be seen as encoded on a two-dimensional surface, much like a hologram. This radical shift in perspective could potentially offer a more profound understanding of the wave function and the universe as a whole. Even after Hawking's demise in 2018, his legacy continues as physicists around the world strive to unravel the mysteries of the cosmos using the tools he helped to forge. As the debate on the no boundary proposal continues, new cosmological models have emerged. Notably, physicist Neil Turok, one of the critics of the no boundary proposal, has put forth a new model developed in collaboration with his colleagues. They propose a universe shaped like an hourglass, with two shuttlecock universes arranged back to back. This is a stark departure from the single shuttlecock universe of Hartle and Hawking. Additionally, there are alternative theories like the tunneling proposal developed by Alexander Vilenkin and André Linde, further enriching the discussion. These new models also intersect intriguingly with other concepts such as anthropic reasoning and the concept of a multiverse, expanding our horizons of understanding. The debate surrounding the wave function of the universe is far from settled. The ongoing discussion brings together a diverse range of physicists, each with their unique perspectives and theories. There's the camp that supports the no-boundary proposal, and then there are those who propose alternative quantum cosmological models. Some models suggest a multiverse where our universe is just one among an infinite number of other universes, each with its own laws of physics. These debates encapsulate the relentless human endeavor to uncover the truth about our universe's origins and the fundamental nature of reality itself. The role of mathematics in this debate is central and undeniable. This is a battle fought with mathematical concepts and techniques, each side employing complex calculations to support their claims. One critical argument revolves around whether real or imaginary values should be used in these cosmological models, with each side ardently defending their stance. The controversy over the variable lapse further underscores the role of mathematics in this debate. To navigate through these complex calculations, physicists employ various simplification techniques, although the validity of these techniques is a matter of ongoing discussion. Lastly, let's look at the philosophical implications of these theories. The ideas we've discussed don't just reshape our scientific understanding of the universe, they also challenge deep-seated philosophical and existential beliefs. For instance, the no-boundary proposal and similar theories question the notion of a creator or a definitive beginning of the universe. Instead, they suggest a universe that emerges and expands smoothly from a point of zero size. Similarly, redefining time as a correlation between the universe's size and other properties, like entropy challenges our traditional linear understanding of time. These theories also intersect with the concept of a multiverse, an idea that suggests the existence of an infinite number of universes, each with its own laws of physics. This raises profound questions about our existence and the nature of reality itself. What could the existence of a multiverse imply for our understanding of life, consciousness, and the concept of parallel realities? As we continue to explore and develop these theories, we can anticipate that they will further challenge our understanding of the universe and our place within it. The potential future developments in this field could redefine our worldview and provide us with a deeper, more comprehensive understanding of the cosmos. We've journeyed through the transformative no-boundary proposal put forth by Hawking and Hartle, explored the wave function of the universe, delved into the heated debates surrounding these concepts, and even pondered over their philosophical implications. These discussions highlight the importance of continuous questioning and debate in the scientific process. They show us how our understanding of the universe is ever-evolving, always subject to new ideas, discoveries, and interpretations. As of now, quantum cosmology stands at an exciting crossroads, with the no-boundary proposal and other theories offering different paths to understanding the universe's origins and evolution. It's a testament to the human spirit of inquiry and our relentless quest to unravel the mysteries of the cosmos. Reflecting on these ideas, we realize the magnitude of the questions we're trying to answer. We are, after all, tiny beings in an immense universe, trying to comprehend its vast complexities. 
But as daunting as this task may seem, it's also incredibly exciting. The future of understanding the universe is full of potential and unknown discoveries, and we're just at the beginning of this extraordinary journey. With that, we wrap up this exploration of the universe. Until next time, keep wondering, keep questioning, and remember, the universe is full of mysteries waiting to be discovered.